ljudi, kao što sam rekao u prošlom klipu, evo nas u motoringu, a danas vozimo, danas vozimo Bentley-e. A, opcija je da se vozi jedan od ovih, ja ću vjerovatno da izaberem Continental GT, prvo moram unutra da odem da se čekiram, a onda ćemo ovaj, da izađemo napolje i da krenemo u vožnju. Similarities, yeah. Okay. Well, much more refined uh, materials. Yeah, the materials is really where we step yeah. things up. Um, yeah, it, you you may you may know like Volkswagen shares a lot of stuff between our different mm -hmm. brands, right? And so this actually sits on a platform that's shared with the Panamera, mm -hmm. which is a great platform to start from, um, and then it's you know fully customized for for our thing. Um, And you're, you're okay? Okay. Uh, so just to show you a couple of things here. So yeah, fun, uh, button down, pull down to drive. Uh, when we come back, the uh, park button is here. Then these are our drive modes. Mm -hmm. And so when you change that, as I'm sure you're familiar with the Audis, it changes like steering, uh, you get the, feel, the feel of the steering, the suspension, how stiff that is, or the throttle mapping, the how, how the yeah. engine, like how responsive that is. So. Bentley mode is kind of like the middle ground of different things. Sport, every all three of those will be in sport and comfort. All three will be in comfort, and then in custom you can change yeah, just... each of those individually. Yeah. So we'll start off in Bentley. We'll change up the comfort. We'll go, we'll go to sport. We'll, we'll try them all out. So keep the Bentley in a Bentley. Yeah. <laughs> uh. We'll go out here to the right. We're going to turn right onto Olympic. It's funny. This feels familiar. I've yeah. never said in this car, it would just feel familiar. Okay. I mean, that's good. It, it's very confidence inspired and it's sure. comfortable. Yeah. Approachable, inviting. Yeah. Like the dash, too. You can change that around to show. A few different things. Maybe when we park. Yeah, yeah. Is so, it a real wheel drive or all wheel drive? It is all wheel drive, yeah. All of our cars are, are all wheel drive. Uh, you can get what we call it the Bentley Dynamic, um, Bentley Dynamic Control, and that will give you a uh, 48 volt anti roll bar system as well as rear-wheel steering. Okay. We're going to take this down to 14th. So we're going to have some kind of city traffic here. And then when we get back over on Olympic to go back, it's a little bit more open. Okay. Super comfortable. How steep was that? Uh, <laughs> I remember better days. <laughs> But it's better than in Porsche. Oh, way better than in Porsche, yeah. Yeah, he got a one Carrera for us, so it was unbelievable <laughs> for me yeah. to fit in the back. Yeah. It's a nice clock, and you get three more. Um, this one has the optional rotating display. So let me hit this button here. Yes, yes. 
Yeah, this is how I like to drive the yeah. car. Yeah. yeah. We were just talking about it. This I'm, one display in the middle is plenty of displays you need. Like yeah. As many displays as you need in the car. I'm the guy who hates this place. <laughs> so it's too much this place. It's like a, you're playing games or you're on an iPad every day. Yeah, so yeah. It's like, yeah. It's in the way. So you've got a, a stopwatch, a compass, and then this is an ambient temperature for, for the outside. At night, you can see all the ambient lighting. It's a very relaxing place to be. You've got seat massage, ventilated seats, heated seats. It's interesting because it's based on Panamera, but it, like the, the it feels spacious, but it also doesn't feel too big. It feels mm -hmm. like a coupe. Especially in the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but in the front, it, it reminds me of the RS5, yeah. just in the way that hmm. size-wise. That reminds me of Panamera, 100%. Hmm. This, uh, yeah, in, the in the middle, it is. Two seats only. Hmm. So the flying spur is essentially this, but as a four door. Yeah. Um, and it drives pretty similarly, just a little, bit, just a little bit bigger. Although parked next to each other, it seems significantly bigger. Yeah, but I don't think it, it doesn't feel like it's, I, I guess I was referring more to how, how it how drives, it handles, yeah. yeah, how it handles, yeah. I'm going to change you over to comfort mode now. So the throttle should feel a little bit less responsive. The bumps will feel less crisp. So it's less relaxed. And what is the price of this car? In with this equipment? As equipped, this is about 320. 320? Uh, yeah, three, 300, 320, yeah. So we'll go a couple more blocks down to 14. So not this light, but the next one. And we'll turn right, we'll go over to Olympic. How many of these are produced every year? Random question. No, that's, 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 that, that, that's a good question. We produce, we'll turn right here. Oops, sorry. That's okay. I should have said it before. Um, we produce about 14,000 cars a year. And a good, like, I would say maybe half of them are Continental GTs. Maybe a little bit less, because Bentega is our, the SUV is our best selling. Who's the usually customers for your SUV? SUV, it really is a lot of families. You said Olympic, right? Yes, we'll turn right here. And then I'm going to turn you into sport mode. And if we listen here, a bit more exhaust sound. How many horses? 542. It's like like RS eight. Mm. All right. Five sixty eight pound foot of torque. Turn right. Go ahead on this way too. Nice. What's the transmission? That's in, that's in a car. It's an eight-speed from ZF. Yeah. yeah. What is the price of SUV? Uh, the SUV will range anywhere from two hundred and forty thousand up to three three hundred and forty thousand. And same engine. Same engine. Yeah. Now the regular wheelbase, you can either get this engine or a hybrid. Mm -hmm. with a V6 or with the extended wheelbase you get the V8 only. Are the buyers usually involved in oil business? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a really good mix and I would say if I 
had to choose uh, finance and uh, healthcare. Finance and healthcare. Mm -hmm. But it kind of, there's a whole gamut of the people, of course. yeah. And the demographics have changed quite a bit. You know, it used to be true, and people, some people still think it's kind of an, an older person's car, uh -huh. but the demographics that changed are our average age now is closer to like mid or upper 50s as opposed to like mid to upper 60s um, and actually over in, in China our demographics are even younger than that and actually even more, uh, more uh, women are buying them a lot more over in China that's kind of interesting to see and maybe we'll see that more more here too I like the little pocket here for the phone or whatever yeah Clever. You got a green light. I've got some good details. That you can see and smell luxury, so it is type of. Yeah. I drove Portofino Ferrari, uh, and it's a uh, it's a kind of feeling you are in the Ferrari. Okay. For sure. So yeah. same things is here when you're Bentley or Rolls Royce. You feel like you're a Bentley or a Swiss. It's, yeah. it's, it's a kind of different car. Mm -hmm. like and different way of, of luxury. Yeah. Yeah, this is our top of the line audio system. You can have kind of the basic version or the Fagan Olufsen or this one, is, which is called Name, N A I M. What is the most expensive color you have? Some special or event? Oh man. So the, the paint job on the flying spur that we have here is a, a two-tone. Yeah. Um, that that option is about twenty thousand dollars. But you can pay a little bit more for some other colors too. This one is like a midnight blue or something. Yeah, we call we actually call the color of this blue Portofino. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the bumps are a little bit softened in comfort mode compared. Most of the production line is people. People like putting the stretching the leathers over the panels and getting the wood veneer. It's just right. And the attention to detail is obvious. So yeah, that's what I keep looking. Keep looking at. Once we get through this light, let's move a little bit to the right lane. Unutrosnost Bentley Continental get there. Thank you. Uh Vidali se snimak iz vožnje. Auto je jako zanimljivo, ali dosta me podsjeća na moj RS5. Mislim da sam to par puta rekao u klipu. Uh, jednostavno po veličini, po načinu vožnje, po tome koliko je tvrd u vožnji, u upravljanju dosta me to podsjeća na, na, na moj Audi s tim što je ovo malo veći i, i poprilično teži auto. Ono sad što deli Bentley od ostalih proizvođača je ta prefinjenost i posvećenost luksuzu gdje se koriste samo najkvalitetniji a, materijali i gdje je završena odbrada na najvišem nivou. A, svaki detalj unutra počevši od ove kože, ovog ovdje paterna, a, dva je vrste drveta, ovih metalnih, a, kako se zove, trim finiša, svako detalje na svom mestu i vrhunski odrađen. Ovaj volan je također neverovatan, 
uz dva dela, a ova koža ne samo prelepa, nego mnogo lepo leži u ruci. Svi ovi dugmići su fenomenalni, čak i ručica menjača urađena posebno i mnogo mi se sviđa kako izgleda i kako se uklapa u enterijer. Ova opcija da se display sakrije i da se pojavi još 3 sata je fenomenalna. Jedan pokazuje spoljašu temperaturu, drugo je kompas, a treće je štoperica. Tako da za ljubitelje brže vožnje, za bakice koje vole da opletu malo svoj Bentley, to će doći pri ruci. Kao što rekao, stvarno svaki detalj je na mestu i sve je nevjerovatno lepo urađeno. Čak što više je ova sjedišta pozadi su prelepa nebo urađeno u Alcantari. Možda bih volio da je moj auto, da je i ovaj volan u Alcantari, ali šta je tu je. Jedini problem sa ovim autom, ključ je baš lep i ovaj dizajn prati kroz ce auto. Jedini problem sa Bentley i jedini problem sa ovim autom je cena u ovakvom speku i ovakvom izdanju 320.000 dolara što je zaista mnogo, mnogo, mnogo novca i za te pare postoji vjerovatno na 50-ak automobila koje bih radije kupio preko što bih kupio Bentley Continental GT ali hvala ljudima iz Motorin kluba i na ovoj divnoj prlici i hvala ljudima iz Bentleya bila je super vožnja i bar mogu da kažem da sam eto za auto 320.000 dolara jedne random nedelje po podne. Možemo i ovdje da odjavimo video. Bentley smo provozali, kafu smo popili, simulator smo probali. Zaključak je? Bentley je za naftaš. Za nas, za vas, za njefti gas. 320.000 je stvarno mnogo za auto. Za te pare možete kupiti skoro ova dva zajedno. Tako da, ako tražite udoban GT auto, mnogo drugih opcija ima u tom crnonu rangu, ali Bentley se ne kupuje zbog vrednosti, već zbog značke, a to je neka treća tema, tako da na tome ćemo da završimo video. Ako vam se klip s video, ostavite like, subscribe na kanal, a mi se vidimo u nekom od sljedećih epizoda. Ćao!